The client inquiry screen allows you to easily see everything having to do with the transactions created on the client's account, meaning from the point of time entry all the way until it's done, paid for, and archived. If you need to fix something, modify, remove something for the client, the inquiry will allow you to access the actions to do that. So you need to become very familiar with the client inquiry. The tabs are set up to flow in the natural order of workflow. So at first you do the work and enter time. Then you whip that time, bill it, and send an invoice. Add payments as you receive them. And then when they're finally paid, they become history and eventually get archived. With each of these tabs, you'll have the refresh button. You'll see a filter that will help you break down the information that's on that screen and filter for what you're looking for. You'll have the option to expand. You can click the settings button and print what's on that screen or export it as an Excel spreadsheet. You can change how many items show on the page. So right now we're showing up to 10, but you can do 20, 30, 40, and so on. You can add or remove columns. So let's say that you didn't want the engagement column to show over here in those columns that we had behind this. I'm gonna go ahead and add it back. And then we have the other option, which allows me to add or turn on the show totals on columns, which applies to columns with numbers of money values. Right now I have it turned off. and you'll have a set of actions. And the actions will change depending on what you may need to do on that tab. The system will only show you what you're allowed to do or what corresponds with that tab. So here on the time screen, you only have the options to change status to whip and delete, whereas over here on invoices, you have other options. On all of these tabs, you'll have a summary that runs across here with information. For time and WIP, you get a summary of that information. And for the rest, you'll see the AR summary. But we definitely need to dive deeper into this information. So for that, I'm going to do smaller detailed videos for each of these tabs. So make sure you check these videos so you can understand what to do on each of these tabs individually.